Hi everyone, welcome to Eden Secret. This is Karania. <coughs> I can't tell you how many people over the last year have asked me to show you how to make my labels, especially the labels for the snap bars. People want to know the size and how did I create them. Well, today I'm actually going to show you exactly how I do it. Now, I've actually been using print shop too for 15 years well i've been using print shop for 15 years uh, print shop one first and then i bought print shop two which you can see here i bought in 2012 and i've been using that on windows and then you were able to download it onto mac as well um, so ever since i got my new mac i've been using print shop two on there and um, it served me very very well I just now looking back I realize what a good program it was but my computer broke and ever since I haven't been able to recreate the labels that I always use uh, to make my soaps you know for my soaps and my wax melts and bath bombs and everything so I went out and had a look to see if uh, I could get the latest version uh, for Macintosh. So I did. I bought it. As you can see, it's £50. Uh, it's just called Print Shop. But it is absolute junk. And then it is dawned on me today, why don't I use, see if I can do it online labels? I can upload images to there. So let's do that. So as you can see on the screen, that's exactly what I'm doing. Um, I've chosen the template. <clears throat> okay, so what you need to do is uh, choose design and templates and then start designing now you can only use this program if you you if you've bought on from online labels and they give you a coupon like a coupon code that you can use for a full year and you get one of those every time you place an order so i've probably got about eight stacked up so that's going to do me for the next eight years so what you can see me doing here is i'm actually uploading images that I've bought from Etsy or stock, um, I've forgotten what you call them, stock photo, uh, companies like that. Um, Etsy, they're really, really cheap for background images or I think these are just typed in gold swirls on Etsy uh, or gold swirl background, something like that. Uh, and I was able to just buy those and that's what I'm using as my background today. So as you can see, I'm just still uploading these images, the ones that I want. But I think I'm a bit stuck here. I'm looking for the... No, no, I'm not looking for the exact one that I want to use because it's already there. Ah, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for my logo. So a lot of my inf uh, downloads I keep on a hard drive and all my old logos are on my hard drive. So obviously I just choose uh, the name of my hard drive, which is Morland, and then scroll down to find my logos and then upload my logos as well. So this is how I actually make my wax melt snap bar labels you can see what i'm doing here is um i've loaded that gold swirl onto the page the specific page that i chose that will print for postcards obviously i'm not going to be using card i'm going to print these onto a sticky back day for label and then cut them out but you can probably buy the exact label that has the peel off of four different ones, which I'll be able to do now. 
Uh, so I've loaded the gold swirl on. What I'm trying to do now is I'm I'm physically, this is the first time I'm ever doing this. I'm just trying to work out how to put a black border around the um around the outside of the frame. I know the, it shows a black border there, but that black border that's on there doesn't actually print. You physically got to put a line all the way around the edge if you want a line um, to cut around. And obviously I like a, a black border around the edge because you'll all know that I actually foil my labels. So everything that you're going to see me do from now on except for that gold border is just going to be black like a black square which you can see me adding right now and then it'll be black boxes with black text and all that kind of thing my black logo uh, the foil sticks to the black better now if you're not using foil you can you can do these in any colour that you want to and you can add uh, different images that you bought like a floral background or whatever. If you just want to print onto plain white paper, you can do anything with it. <coughs> so I, I, I can't quite work out what I've done wrong here because um, what I'm wanting to do now is I'm wanting to upload like a black box to go across the center of that gold border so let's keep trying to figure that out on the screen no we've got the the black box again but I've got a a dotted line around the outside so how did I do it object properties ah are we getting somewhere here I think I need to click that fill colour, but it, it will show up when I get to it. <clears throat> Back to shapes. Come on, click that fill colour, Karen. I think that's what I need to do. No. You've clicked the line tool again. That's no good. Don't want that. This is what we want, isn't it? This black square. This white square. Have I done it now? Yes, I've done it. So now all I need to do now is change that dotted edge. But what I'm doing is I'm shrinking that black box down to fit within that gold border. And I'm just spreading out so that it fits. Now I need to get rid of that dotty edge around the outside. So I've minimize the wrong one right the line dash i've minimized the line dash so i haven't got a line dash anymore so now i want to add my logos so you can see how easy that is and how easy it is just to shrink them down and i want to put one either side of the um of the beautiful image that we've got there one there and then one directly opposite on the other side. I did have a ballerina here, but the ballerina has nothing to do with what you nothing to do with Eden's Eden Secret. So I took it off and just thought, just put an Eden Secret logo on both sides. <clears throat> and even though it does have 
that gold, the foil will stick to it because the foil sticks to any laser ink that you use. It's better if you have just solid black. So, for instance, that, that on, for instance, that ornate gold design there. If that was in black, it would be much better. But I haven't got a black one. I've got a gold one, and it still works. So somehow I deleted my uh, logo there. So I'm just redoing it and shrinking it to size. I should have thought I can probably copy and paste, copy and paste these images, but because it's the first time ever, I'm ever using it, uh, I don't think I thought of copy and pasting yet. Which is what I would always do with my old print print, uh, print shop program. So I'm just trying to make sure those two Eden Secret logos are about the same size here. And that they're exactly where I want them to be. And now I'm going to need a text box because this is where I always put my text for my um, whatever the name of the product is, whether it's Snow Fairy or Pom Noir or. English Country Garden or whatever you want to write. Now, the one issue I see with this program is you haven't got a lot of choice on the fonts. And because I do a font and I foil them, I need a fairly simple um, text. Nothing too outrageously curly or anything like that because... Um, it needs to be easy to read. Um, so what I've done, I've got my text box here and I'm just going to change that text colour. I'm going to change the font colour over on the left here. That's I'm looking for where I'm doing this, obviously. It's not exactly right. I've found it. So I'm going to change the font colour to white. So yes, obviously you can't see it. Uh, but now when you put it over you, over the black, you can see the white font. And it needs to be white because I don't want any ink on that lettering. If I have ink on the lettering, the foil is going to stick to it. But if you do it in white, then the foil won't stick to that particular area. So what I'm doing here is I've got a specific font and I'm going to go through and just try quite a few to see which font I like enough that I'm going to use. I really like Americana BT font, but it's not on here. But I have um, just seen that you can add fonts to this program. Uh, I haven't worked out how to do that yet, so I'm just... For the purposes of the video, I'm just going through the fonts that are available. There's plenty of choice if you're just not particular uh, and you don't want a specific font. Uh, just choose one of the ones that are there. So you can see, you know, you know what fonts are like. If you're making product, you know by now how, you know, they're not all nice and some of them are very nice, some of them are not. And, you know, it's all put down to personal taste. So, also, because I'm foiling, I want the font to be a little bit chunky, but not too chunky. It's no good if it's fine writing. And I don't want it to be really thick writing either. Like, this Snow Fairy is very fine. Um, again, because the foil... Is not going to stick to the white part it won't show up very well if the writing is really fine so I did find a, a, a text that I thought was was pretty nice not perfect but pretty nice 
and it'll do for the purposes of this video. <clears throat> I'm nearly to the end of the choices now, that's the end there. So if you see here, it says you can install a font finder ex extension. I do look into that here, but realise it's going to be a little bit complicated. So I decide not to do that right now. I'll do that on my own. Um, and when I've worked out how to do it, then I'll let you know. Right, so I've given up on that using personal fonts. And I'm just literally going to use what's available. And I think there was one beginning with L that I liked. No, that's not it. Lustria, that's it. That's the one that'll do. You see, it's fairly fine, it's not overly chunky, and it's not really, really fine. Uh, obviously, sometimes you need to have a font that is shrunk in from each, like horizontally, um, because you might need to fit more than two words on there. So, if you have uh, letters that are really spread out then it'll be really difficult to fit the name of the product in there. So that's another reason for using that Lustria um, font. So I've just added another text box here now. Uh, just to fill the information that I always have on my wax melts. And I'm realising this is too big and it's the wrong colour. So I'm just going to type in there what is always typed in on my wax melt label. And now I need to shrink this because I want it all just in one straight line. So um, it's not two lines. There you go. It's a little bit too big, I think, still. So I'll just sh shrink those letters down to number eight and leave it there. Pop, make sure it's centered. Always try and make sure everything's perfectly in the centre. We don't always get everything perfectly in the centre. As I'm looking at it now, the snow fairy's not centred. Uh, but it doesn't matter because we're just making a video so I can show you what I do. So on the front of any product, you really need to tell people what the product is. So... Just here, I'm going to write soy wax melts. And then anyone that was looking at the front of the label knows exactly what is in the package. Just because someone buys something, it doesn't necessarily mean it's for them. A lot of people give things away as gifts. Uh, so we need to tell them on the front of a label what's inside. For some reason, I've decided to move everything up. And I know why, because I might move it down again later. I can't remember. I know why, because I have a lot of information to actually get on the bottom of the label. 
I need the CLP information, I need my address and that kind of thing. Um, so that's why I'm moving this up at the moment. I don't know if I move it back down, but... So we're adding another text box now. And this is where your um your the name of this of the fragrance is going to go it's also where the clp information goes so i'm going to show you how to get your clp information whichever fragrance you buy the company that buy you buy it from will have the clp information on their site now i like oasis soils because on the top bar you can see there in the blue you just click clp and safety data and when you click on that um, it brings all the boxes up of the different fragrances the only thing i'm not keen on with this is you've got to search you've got to search for each fragrance they're not in alphabetical order but i know with my drive it's not really possible everything just gets added in the order that you added it in i don't know right so i found the snow fair so the 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 wax melt is called snow fairy but the actual fragrance is called snow fair and you see i clicked on this 10 percent clp information there now what's on that information is what needs to go on your label so it's dead easy every company has these that sells lab, uh, fragrance oils for for candles for wax uh, wax melts and candles and all you have to do is copy it and make sure it's on your label so it's dead simple really but there are some other options to do in this. You can either write it when you get to the... Um, it's really in case you have a small label that certain all that wording won't fit on. But you can also get pictograms uh, to put on there. I'm not going to do that at the moment. I'm going back to Oasis Oils. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a screenshot of that information. Um, again, go back down to the snow fair. And then click on CLP information that's for 10%. Right, so I'm going to screenshot that and I'm going to save it to my desktop and then I can just type, open a text, new, put, add a new text box onto my label and then physically, I was hoping I could copy and paste it but I couldn't. Um, so what I have to do is put it close by somewhere I'm, I'm searching all over, seeing what I can do here in the screen. So just ignore what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just trying to work it out there as I'm going. Um, but it just shows you the reality of what it takes to create these things. It's not easy. Easy when you know how, but not easy when you have first trying to do something. So I understand why so many people are always asking me if I can show them how to do these things. You know, and I've had to work it all out for myself as well in the past. Uh, there was nobody could help us or would help us um, in the old days. Uh, you don't know how lucky you are that there are some people that will help. Not everybody will help, so just be really careful who you ask for help. Some people like to be helpful. Some people don't want to tell you a single thing. And that's fine. If they don't want to, no problem at all. It's took them years to work all of this out, just like me. 16 years I've been doing this now. Um, 
so yeah, it takes years and years and years. So if anyone helps you, just really, really appreciate it because you don't know how lucky you are to get it handed to you on a plate like this. Okay, so I'm adding a text box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read what I saved in that screenshot and I'm physically going to type it into this text box. You can see when I click on the text box, the screenshot disappears. So I've had to put the screenshot to the side of the screen that you can't see. I'm trying again, but it's going to disappear again. Um, I'm just trying to move it onto the desktop. See, as soon as I click on that text box, it disappears. So now I'm moving it onto the screen so I can physically read it and type what is written in that uh, information from um, Oasis Oils. Every company has a different format for saving this type of information. So you'll need to get in touch with them. Don't be frightened to ask them. They're the ones that are selling these fragrances and they need to help you to find this information. So don't be frightened to ask those people. So as you can see, it's Snow Fair Fragrance Oil. I'm adding 10% into my wax. And it's added into a non-hazardous base. Now, obviously, all I'm doing here is just copying it from the screenshot. And then I'm typing in any allergens that it tells me that I must put on there. What's on that CLP? By law, if you're in the EU, UK, EU, you must put it on. Anywhere else in the world, I don't think you have to do anything like this. So if you're watching from overseas, you don't need to put this part in. Unless you're in Ireland, Scotland, anywhere in the EU. Our rules are ridiculous. They really are. I don't know who sits there and comes up with all this nonsense uh, to change year on year on year on year. So what I'm doing here is I'm just um, downloading pictograms onto my desktop. So all I'm doing is clicking on them and save image as. Um, give the image a name. Uh, so we know which one's which. And then I'm just saving it to the desktop. And then what, what I'll probably do when I've downloaded all of them is I'll put them into a folder on my desktop. Um, so anytime I need the pictograms, I can just double click on the folder. It'll open the folder up and all my pictograms will be kept there in one place. But also what I can do is I can upload those onto the... Um, the Maestro, Label Maestro. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm just searching for those uh, pictograms. Hmm. And then we're just going to double click them and add them into our images on the, on the online maestro, online label maestro. 
is it Maestro Design or can't remember. So I'm just adding them all as you can see. So don't think you'll need more than what I've got there. But if there is anything I've missed, uh, you can just go and search for it and add it. Um, you probably very often going to need the exclamation mark but the others you won't need very much the harmful to aquatic life is quite a common one uh, but this exclamation mark is the mo most important one so you can see i'm just shrinking it there to fit it onto my label Now it's time to type all the information that was typed on to that CLP information that was in the screenshot. So I'm adding a text box and everything that was physically written on there, I'm going to write it in this text box. Now you don't have to write it. You, you can actually use pictograms and I'm going to show you those as well. But firstly, I'm going to show you that you can actually type it on there. So it doesn't matter whether it's written on or you use the pictograms. It's up to you. So what I can, I'm writing here, you can actually get this information in the form of pictograms. But if you can't be bothered to do that and you don't want to go hunting for more pictograms, just type it on just like I'm doing. I know I've made some typos there, but I'll, I'll go back and once I've typed it all, then I'll go back and correct them. And I'm writing it exactly as it's written on that screenshot, like where it says if on skin and that's in capitals. It, it is actually in capitals on the uh, CLP information from the fragrance oil company so that's why I'm writing it in capitals Now I'm realising here the text is too big so I'm just going to shrink it down a bit so I can get some more typing put into that box. Now I'm thinking it's a little bit too small. You want everything 
as big as you can without it being overbearing just to make it easier to read for people and I'm just spell checking it Just trying to line everything up so it's neatly in position. And then I feel like I need a bit more space. So Eden Secret's just a little bit lower. So what I've actually done is clicked on the other text box there where I wrote the Snow Fair fragrance oil and now it all just fits neatly into position. And now it's time to print them. And then we'll come back and I'll show you where to get them and how to add the pictograms if you want to add the pictograms. Okay, so I'm showing you now, I'm showing you the pictograms uh, that you can use. You don't need all of these because a lot of these are for actually for candles. We just want the ones that look like they go with wax melts. So I'm just, as you can see how easy it is, just save those. Save images and save it to your desktop. And then we can add them later on, just like we did adding all of the other images to that site. And whatever label program you use, and you should be able to do this. There are some cheaper label making sites uh, that you can actually add extra images to. Some of them are just for typing only. So I'm just saving all the ones that I think at some time or other I might be able to put onto my label. And for the finale, it's just time to show you how to add those pictograms to the label so as you can see i've taken off the information that i typed in there from the screenshot except for the exclamation mark i've got the pictograms on the desktop as you can see just to the right and so now i'm just going to import them onto this program where my images go And now I'm going to put those pictograms onto my label. You literally just drag them over or click on them. And you just need to shrink them to size so that they fit nice and neatly. So I'm just putting three pictograms on here. 
just for the purposes of the video um, but I'll probably put one extra one on there um, and that's the burning flame to keep it away from curtains and fabrics uh, I forgot to upload that one uh, oh no that one is it's on the desktop but I don't know if I uploaded it to the to this program Yeah, the curtain ones is there. I uploaded it twice. I'm just trying to make all those boxes look the same size and that they're evenly spaced out across that label. It looks like I'm making them smaller now. Uh, because I want to shrink that um, that text from where it says Snowfair Fragrance Oil. I want to shrink that text down a little bit smaller to squash it onto the bottom of the label. So now I'm actually going to click. I'm clicking on that text box and I'm just deleting a row or two. And then move the text box down. And then it just makes it all a lot neater and sharper and in place. Um, and now we're ready to print them. So let's get them printed. I don't know if I'm going to shrink them a bit more. Yes, it looks like I'm shrinking them a bit more. Just make it a little bit tighter. Clicking on that other text box again, removing at least one line, moving it down. There we are. That's got to be it. Okay, so there we have four labels on an A4 sheet of paper. Um, these still need to be foiled, but as I said before, if you want to watch the foiling video, I'll put an information card in the top right hand corner and um, a link in the description box below the video I just want to point out here you need to make sure that you do have contact details here um, you need to put your address and your phone number just in case any uh, governing authorities need to get in touch with you just make it as easy as possible for them and I think that's considered law internationally I think all around the world you're supposed to do that have your contact details on your labels so I'm glad I finally got around to doing this video for you and I hope you enjoyed it thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you very soon for another video from Eden's Secret bye bye for now